Hello everybody. Guess where we are today? The Stick Marsh, right here on Florida's Space Coast, just south of Palm Bay where I live. And we're here, there, there is so much lore and so many stories of just giant, giant bass coming out of Stick Marsh. You know, it's been a popular das, bass fishing destination for years. And we're gonna go out today and see what this place has to offer. It's kind of a weird day, you know, it's a little bit overcast. We got a little bit of wind blowing. Um, so they might be on some moving stuff. The spawn's over. It's about time for the shad spawn to be kicking in. We're starting a little late to really see a lot of that shad spawn activity this morning. But I think we're gonna mix in some moving baits here too. You know, stick marsh is traditionally known as like a, you know, kind of a worm and kind of a slow, you know, slow dragon on the bottom bite to catch a bunch of those big bass. But I think with the conditions we got going on today, we're gonna be able to catch them on some moving stuff. So let's go check it out. There we go. Oh, oh, it's Chungasaurus Rex. Right back down into the stick marsh. What an amazing day out there on Stick Marsh. Man, did we wreck them. I don't know how many we caught, I, I, what the biggest, I like, I don't know. All I know, we had five or six just absolute Chungus Maximuses. I mean, that was just, what a fun day. I just, you know, out there by myself, just kind of doing the little self-filming thing and just had an absolute blast. Let me show you some of the stuff we caught them on. Um, by far, the star of the show, in my opinion, was the crankbait. We caught them on several different ones. Um, towards the end of the day, when it got you know when it got windy and, and the water started to get dirty, we caught them on the you know a bright colored one. Um, they're both like 2.5 series. Uh, you know the parrot one basically, and this one's just kind of a, you know brown back and the, the chartreuse with the little. Uh, red dots i have no idea what the little red dots are but it's just something that works good for me um i actually threw an honest to god old bagley's and that's the only one we didn't catch anything on this is that bigger strike king model we caught a few on it this is that prototype crankbait from swift we caught quite a few on that guy um but yeah most of them came on on the crankbait and then the other thing was this guy the Netbait T Mac. It's an 11 inch worm, 11 and a half actually, I think. Um, got a 5 aught trocar hook in it. I was throwing a 5 16 weight. It's a uh, plum color. And man, I was just, you know, when it was, and it got a little bit calm there, um, you know, after I'd been there for a little bit, it got calm and started catching them on the worm. And then when the wind started to blow, I still kept catching them on the worm there for a while, but. You know what I think was really going on? I think we were on stick marsh and they were just biting because this place is full of bass. 
it was exactly what I think was going on. But that's the two, uh, that's the two baits. Ardent reel, 7-3-to-1, 20-pound uh, fluorocarbon, a Halo TI, 7-6, heavy. I like the heavy action because I like to be able to jack them on a, you know, a long cast and they bite way out on that long cast. I like to be able to jack them. Um, and then an Ardent 6-5-to-1, Apex Elite, Halo Series 2, cranking rod, medium heavy. And that's that was it. We, I mean, just with those two deals, I mean, we absolutely smashed them. Thanks for watching a solo edition right here on Stick Marsh of The Fishing Show with JT Kenny. Don't forget to check me out on Major League Fishing.